I'm Saxon Rock, and I'm going to teach you how to use GMAX 1.2 with Unreal Engine 4. You're going to need to download GMAX, you're going to have to register GMAX, and then you're going to need a single script file. I'll put all the links in the video description for you. Um, GMAX is at TurboSquid.com slash GMAX. The register is at TurboSquid.com slash register GMAX. Um, and when you go to that link, it will actually take you here. You just want to click on this one. It'll give you all this extra data. You only have to enter in your first name, your last name, your zip code, and where you're located. Hit submit. When you do that, it will take you to this other page. We'll have a code right here like, around this area. And you just copy that, open up GMAX, put that into the uh, registration box, and you'll be all set. So. Now that you've downloaded GMAX, you've registered GMAX, and it's all ready, you should probably come, uh, you, when you open it, it will take you to this, uh, without the sphere, obviously. Um, but, so, what you want to do now is, since you have GMAX all, all ready, you can't just start modeling and uh, saving stuff to FBX. While that would be great, GMAX is very old. Um, and it's got limitations a lot of them so one of its limitations is it only can save in GMAX and it can only export in Plasma 3D in order to get something out of this program that we can actually use excuse me um, we're going to need to get this GMAX to object converter and what this does is it takes your scene and it takes your scene and it converts everything from GMAX, it like converts all the vertexes, everything, into positions which then an object file will know how it is. Okay, so when we ran our script, you may have noticed <clears throat> that there was a bunch of shit popping up in this window down here, like a bunch of numbers and stuff. And then it, that now it's got this uh, pound side with a bunch of things, letters. So, in, in order to actually get there, uh, we open up the listener. And it says, copy and paste the following lines into a text editor and save them to an object. Okay, so go on th under that, start selecting stuff with your left mouse button held down. Now, this is a little tricky because this program doesn't really like you. Um, I don't know why, it's very buggy, but you select everything by click dragging, and if you hold, if you go down, it will, it will stop. So you have to just kind of keep moving your mouse, and it will eventually get to the bottom. Now, with your mouse still held down, your left mouse button still held down, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click on that black, select all, control C. Okay, now to, let, me re, let me redo that so you can get that again. So start, start wherever, it doesn't really matter where you start, but just make sure you select all of the important data with your left mouse button still held down. Right click with your left mouse button still down hit select all now control C this will copy everything to from there that window to your clipboard now you can press control V and it will paste everything you can get rid of the extra lines up until the the, um, the lines so now if I do that I have I have a sphere 01 with all this really awesome information Right? Okay, great. Now, what do I do? Well, I'm going to file save as, and I'm just going to do a normal text file. And I'm going to do dot obj. Now, end quote, go to the beginning, quote it. So you have quote, box, or whatever your file name is, dot obj. Now what you're going to want to do is go to the save file type as all types. This allows you to save your own format as long as you have the double quotes on either end of the, on both ends of the, the file. 
So when I hit save, well, it's going to say, well, I like place it. I'm going to say yes. Even though that's not box 01, it doesn't matter really the name because it, it just really doesn't. So what you're going to want to do is now we have this object, right? We have this object file. If I go in here, let me just delete this so you can see what we're doing. I'm going to import wavefront.obj gmax object. I mean, I made this folder in there. You can save it wherever you'd like. You're going to open this. Boom! Oh, look at that. Now I have, that's, that's great. I have the sphere from gmax in Blender. This is the newest version of Blender. So, with it selected, export where is it at I don't actually know how to oh yeah export FBX uh, You can put all your, bolt, uh, you know, you can change what you want. I'm going to actually put this to Z up. Or, or Y forward. Y forward, that way Z will be up. Um, I'm going to save this in my documents. Okay, no. Let's go back to Gmax. I'll go to... Okay, new directory, I'll just call this FBX. Okay, now. You're probably going to want to use your regular Unreal Engine 4 export options from Blender. Um, so, let me just go to, well, oh, it's a sphere. So, okay. Export FBX. Boom. Congratulations. You have just successfully exported data from GMAX into a file and opened that file with Blender. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to open up Unreal Editor. With our editor open, I'm just going to make a new folder and I'm going to call this here. I spelled it wrong. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Oh, okay. Import to sphere. You're going to want to go to your is in GMAX and FBX. So I'm going to open the sphere. And it's gonna, just going to be a static mesh. I'm going to combine the mesh because I don't care. Um, import it. And there we go. We have a sphere that was made in GMAX 1.2. And then we exported it into OBJ. Then we opened that OBJ in Blender. And then now we exported that into FBX. And then now we have our GMAX sphere within Unreal Engine 4. And that is pretty much it. You, I think you can use Bones. I think you can use anything you want in GMAX as long as you export it using the OBJ utility. So just to just to show you that it does it is in fact in there. Um, yeah, it's 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 pretty awesome how you can just how you can just uh, use really old software um, and, and be able to use it. So that that's how you use GMAX uh, with Unreal Engine 4. I hope you found this tutorial interesting. Uh, because I know I sure did.